the fight from GSA family is not just because of uh, Ogunwusi's family. It's also about their own interest because the throne belongs to GSA family as we heard. And if the throne leaves Ogunwusi family, it is gone forever and will never ever return to GSA family. So the intervention of GSA family is all about the interest of the whole extended family as a whole. We heard that uh, there was a time we had the handed the power to them, like the Jesse family took up the entire thing to cleanse the whole palace, to banish these wives of Kabiesi from the palace. All the things that Kabiesi could not do is what they are now planning to do because they said they have handed them the power to do whatever they wish with the Oloris and they have allegedly started making moves over it. As we heard that uh, Iyanifa gave um, Queen Naomi 90 days and don't be surprised that these 90 days that they gave Queen Naomi to think about this of which we never heard if Queen Naomi said she is going to think about it or not. All we know is that Queen Naomi said she's done and she's done for good. So they, uh, they said only of your uh, sisters, as we heard, begin to interfere in the matters between JC family and uh, Ogunwusi in particular, saying that why should they give the uh, JC family the power? They, they are they the ones that has the king? That the king is from Ogunwusi family uh, only, not uh, all the JC family, because. Uh, Ogumusi family is under GSC family. So this Oni of Ife sisters are now saying that they shouldn't they shouldn't hand the power over to them. That them as the whole as the family, Ogumusi family who has the throne in their hand direct should deal with it. So they said uh, Paropo got angry with them and they finished them bata bata because they, they have sounded so unreasonable, knowing fully well that Kabiesi and Ogunwusi family has been fighting this for two years, moving to and fro, to and fro, and at last they couldn't even achieve anything. And the throne is at stake as we are speaking because Queen Naomi said she's leaving. And we remember that they gave Kabiesi warning that he has uh, some like 21 days or 14 days or so to bring Queen Naomi back and take this, uh, take this uh, woman out so that the throne can be secured. And if Kabiesi does not meet up with this, that is the loss of the throne. That is the throne will be lost for good. So for Paropo to advise uh, Kabiesi, as we heard, to hand over the matter to JC family as a bigger body so that they can help and help this matter and do it the way it pleases them. Like they will be in a better position to handle it because the throne also consigns them. You understand so uh the jesse family now has started making moves on how to deal with these women on how best to remove them from the palace and they have started the cleansing and everything all the processes so um um these women um only of your sisters coming to intervene they said paropo told them that this is not what they are going to be seeing that what have they been achieved what have they been achieving and what have they achieved for over two years, over two years like this, that they have been doing all these things and they couldn't achieve anything. And in fact, that they should not put mouth in these matters, that these matters is only consigning the men, not the women. So the women should not even have the right to talk anything in this. This only of if a sister, so I don't understand them. They don't even want the, is it that they don't like their brother Kabisi or they don't want the progress? Or are they among people who also do not want Queen Naomi to come back? Of course, we know that they never, that in fact, they, they don't even want Queen Naomi to come back because sometimes they work hand in hand with these Oloris and for, for the sake of the things that they benefit from these Oloris, especially Antigbi, that we know that she used to give them, we heard she used to give them a lot of money, a lot of bribe and all that. Is there anything any of the Oloris can give them that their brother Kabiesi does not have? Well, common sense is not common and some people just hate someone for a reason. 
yes some sister-in-laws they just hate bro uh, their daughter-in-laws or their brother's wife for a reason so that is not even a new thing so but Kwenomi told them that she's that even though Kwenomi told them that uh, she's done and done for good that she's never returning back to the palace that she has fallen out of love with Kabiesi and I don't know why whether Kabiesi thinks that Queen Naomi is uh, joking or something because uh, Queen Naomi had never opened her mouth to say that in fact Queen Naomi even at the first time they fall out uh, of marriage Queen Naomi has never opened mouth you know there are some things that somebody cannot say if the person is still in love with you and you will know that oh because this person did not say this she we are still in love you get so but um for kenomi to open her mouth and say this thing it means that she is done for good so and kbc has been running up and down with uh, uh, the the ogunusi family and jc family to see if they will put things in order and their plan is that according to what we heard that they will first remove these women first that even though Kwenomi said uh, she's not coming back anymore, that with the help of Yanifa and all those people who are, are greater in the spirit, that they will be able to use one or two methods to get Kwenomi back. That at least, uh, maybe by that time, if Kwenomi has seen that, okay, that the palace is cleared and there are no more Oloris, it's just her, that she will be able to accept to come back. So Paropo is a good man. He, he has tried his best. In fact, we have heard that uh, a lot of times that most of the things, most of the solutions that come to the palace is uh, through Paropo, that Paropo is putting in all his best to see that these women leave because Paropo does not want Queen Naomi to leave. Because even if, uh, apart from Paropo's interest in Queen Naomi as a special daughter-in-law, nobody would like to lose the throne. And Queen Naomi leaving the palace means Kabi is leaving the throne. And Queen Naomi is so emotionless about it. Yes, because some people saying that Queen Naomi should stay because of Tade Nikawo to secure the throne for Tade Nikawo. But then, what's the, what's the point when the throne is not hereditary? So, uh, it, it, there's no point uh, fighting or staying back because of uh, the throne for you to reach Tade Nikawo. Tade will be who god won't say he will be yes he must not be king of ilefe because his father is king of ilefe he might also be a greater person greater than the king in the nearest future to come well uh paropo of uh, have uh, told this woman he has shown them that he is the man and even though kabi is only is kabi is he is the king that he is also in control that he is the father of the king and he also has a major role to play so that uh, these women should go and sit down and let the men work because obviously they are not contributing anything to this uh these things that are happening to the progress of the the, the palace all they do is try to scatter it anytime they try to bring uh, something up something better up so that is the rumor that paropo has slammed them mercilessly for trying to pull them back because as they are moving forward they don't need the interference of this woman or intervening of this woman to move backward i'm going to bring you the more updates on this you have to subscribe to this channel give the video a thumbs up and don't forget that all our alleged information making rounds on social media stay cool and have a nice day